Hey Dream Chasers, it's Jace, and today we're going to test out another Huon product. Today I have the Huon Scribo PW310 pen, and this is a regular ink pen slash tablet stylus. So it has uh, different different nibs inside. There's there's one that has ink in it, uh, and there's another that's, that's just sort of like the standard plastic nib that you would use on a drawing tablet. Uh, but uh, another neat feature of this is you can, with compatible tablets, use it as a regular pen, but put your paper on top of the tablet and write or draw, and it will also register what you're doing in the art program. So. Uh, you're kind of like writing in two places at once. So we're going to unbox this in what I think will be the world's shortest unboxing video. So this is a pretty small box. And try it out. And I'll let you know what I think. So let's just get right into it. Welcome to the world's shortest unboxing video. The Huon Scribo PW310. Unbox. <laughs> The Huon Scribo is compatible with a bunch of other Huon tablets. The one I'm testing it out with is the Huon Inspiroy Ink, which I reviewed in a previous video. So this is kind of embarrassing, but my first attempt at using the Huon Scribo didn't go super well. To be fair, I had a hard time trying to figure out how to draw on this thing. I was hoping that I could get away with throwing a sketchbook or notebook on top of it, but they were all too thick and the tablet just wasn't registering the pen. Plus, I'm left-handed, and so I don't write in a notebook in a normal way like a normal person does. If you're right-handed, you might not know what I mean, but other lefties, I know you know the struggle. I tried some loose printer paper, but it slid around a bunch, and so my drawing didn't line up properly. So by the time I kind of figured out what paper to use, I was tired and cranky, and I just forgot to check my settings in my art program. And so for some reason, I made the very bold assumption that the pen had no pressure sensitivity, and I thought, aha, I knew this was too good to be true. And then it hit me later, wait, I bet my settings were just messed up. And sure enough, I just had to turn my pen pressure on in Photoshop. So I'm mentioning this because if that happened to you, please learn from my mistakes and check your settings and reevaluate your trust issues. So is this pen stylus combo too good to be true? Well, as far as the pen goes, it's okay. There are two ink nibs, which until you actually use them, there's no way to tell apart because they're not marked in any way, but one is a ballpoint and the other is a gel pen. I'm not really crazy about the ballpoint. The ink smeared a lot when I was drawing, and in some cases it didn't actually leave a mark when I was trying to draw, and so I'd have to go over the same spot several times to just get the ink down, which would be fine normally, but of course, while I was using it with my tablet, it meant that I was going over everything a bunch of times in the drawing program, and it made all of my lines a lot thicker than I intended. Of the two ink nibs, I really prefer the gel. It was a lot smoother, and it was easier to draw, but neither really comes that close to the quality of my favorite fine liner ink pens that I normally use for traditional inking. As far as styluses go, it's an okay stylus, I guess. It does come with a plastic nib, so you can use it as a stylus, but there's really no reason to unless you lose the original stylus your tablet came with. Because this one doesn't have buttons on it, so you can't right click or set a shortcut. And for some reason, the pressure sensitivity was very different on the stylus than the one the tablet came with, so I had to adjust it, which is fine, it's just something to keep in mind. Okay, so it's an okay pen, and it's an okay stylus, but the real selling point of the Scribo is the fact that you can use it as a pen and a stylus at the same time. So is that too good to be true? As I mentioned earlier, I really wish the paper situation were a little different. It's cool that you can write on paper and have it show up digitally as well, but I kind of wish it came with a little notepad that's the right size paper and the right size thickness that clipped in place to your tablet so it didn't move around. I had a hard time finding the right paper for this because everything I had was either too big or it was very thin and I was nervous it was going to scratch up the tablet underneath. So I had this little piece of note card paper uh, that I ended up taping down to the surface, which I was a little nervous to do because I wasn't sure if the tape would mess up the surface at all. I definitely would not leave something taped on for very long just in case, like I wouldn't leave it overnight. Uh, 
I also recommend that you probably use painter's tape or something meant for something like this. I use scotch tape because that was all I had. Even with the paper tape down, I did occasionally have some issues with my art not lining up right. For some reason, when I was drawing this character's face, I couldn't get their chin to line up in the art program. It happened in my first attempt at drawing them, and I thought maybe it was just because I went over it so many times trying to get the ballpoint pen to draw, so I tried it again with the gel pen, and I used one continuous motion as best I could, and I had the same issue. I also struggled a bit setting up my canvas in the first place. Sometimes I'd accidentally click outside of the canvas and kind of mess up my window and you know, accidentally hit the scroll bar and move things around and basically lose my place in my drawing. I also had to keep messing with my pen pressure settings because the tablet would register the pen even when it wasn't touching the paper and so it would leave these little tiny stray marks all over my drawing. And every time I thought I solved that problem, I would run into it again and have to adjust my settings again until they were basically all the way down. Another thing that I found a little awkward is that unlike when you use a stylus with a plastic nib, you can't use this as a mouse. I found myself wanting to mouse over a menu and press down to click and then realizing I can't because I'd be marking up my tablet with an ink pen. I kept thinking it would be really cool if there was a way to switch between the plastic nib and the ink nib on the fly. Like maybe like one of those little clicky pens where you can change the color by just sort of pressing down. I think it would be just a really seamless, intuitive experience if you were able to switch like that. That said, once I kind of worked out all of these kinks, it was a really natural drawing experience and I ended up with digital line art that I could work with. If anything, I hope that this video helps other people breeze past some of those awkward things and just get right to a good drawing experience right out of the box. Because despite some of these minor issues, I would definitely recommend the Huon Scribo, especially to artists who are trying to transition from traditional to digital art. You get to draw naturally as you would on paper, and if your drawing isn't perfect, you can switch back to a plastic nib and practice using the tablet by cleaning up your art. That's actually kind of a perfect way to ease yourself into digital drawing. But I wouldn't expect a perfect gorgeous ink drawing and a perfect digital replica of it. You're just not going to get that out of this product. But you will be able to have the experience of inking with a real pen and wind up with a digital drawing that might need to be edited a little bit, but you can work with it and I think that's pretty cool. I personally probably wouldn't have bought this for myself if Yuan didn't send it to me. I'm used to digital inking at this point, I've been doing it for years, but since I have it now, I definitely want to play around with it some more. I think traditional inking goes just a little bit faster for me, so this could definitely save me some time on future projects. I do wish the ink pen was a little bit better quality, it's definitely not a replacement for any of my fine liners at all. And honestly, if it were as good as those, and it came with a little drawing pad that clipped to the tablet, this would go from a pretty cool pen to one of my absolute favorite art tools. There's a link in the description if you want to grab one for yourself and try it out. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link and I get money if you use it to buy something. And for clarity, Huon did send me this product to review as I said earlier. I was not paid to make this video or to give it a positive review. This is all my honest opinion. Anyway, I hope that this video was helpful, especially to anyone who's been on the fence about transitioning from traditional to digital art. I think the Scribo might make that transition go a little more smoothly for you. By the way, the character I drew in this video is Krill Valenfield. They're from the comic Mr. Guy Zombie Hunter, a comic series I worked on that's currently on Kickstarter. It's funny, action-packed, and features this non-binary babe, so go check it out. And if you're watching this video after the Kickstarter's over, you can go to MrGuyComic.com to grab a copy. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, chase your dreams. Peace.